there is an aha moment in that working with history can, can be a, its own job. This is the Washington State Holocaust Center for Humanity. We're in the process of making a um, encyclopedia of local Holocaust survivors and liberators. I'm transcribing testimonies, um, doing kind of odd jobs, mailing stuff out. You went and saw a survivor in a school, and then we had a survivor speaking here, and then he met somebody else, all within his first like two days. I remember being in first grade and asking my mom why I didn't have more Jewish classmates, and uh, she was like, the Holocaust, and I was like, whoa, and that was kind of a lot for first grade, but you know, it was true. We had an end of year lunch for all the survivors, and leading up to it, I was doing all this preparation for it, and I was working on this really big PowerPoint. It was really cool to meet everyone who's information I had been interacting with for a really long time, but then to finally meet people and to see my work up there was, was very rewarding. It's been really great to have Andy here, um, not only because as a Whitman alum, it feels kind of special to have a Whitman student working with us, um, but I think, you know, he being a hopeful history major and um, he has a lot of knowledge that he can bring to the position that um, not necessarily all interns would have. I'm here and I'm doing this work and I study history because people need to know it and people need to learn from it. And it's a cliche, but it's 100% true. And it's a tool for understanding the world today and it's a tool for making the world today better. And that's a big focus of the center.